What's going on guys? Just wanted to make a video of my new car. It's a 2018 Volkswagen GTI Autobahn. Uh, I do apologize if it's going to be windy, so I'll keep the outside uh, shots brief. But I just wanted to show you the vehicle. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Nice big chrome exhaust now. Now this is the Mark 7.5, is what people are calling it, so it's almost like a mid-cycle refresh on the Mark 7. They changed the taillights, uh, headlights, uh, different rims now, uh, bigger exhaust tips, and a different screen on the inside. Uh, 220 horsepower standard, I believe 250 foot-pound uh, torque as well. But uh, yeah, it's a very nice car. Um, I'm going to go over some of the styling cues over the interior here but it's a gorgeous car nice aggressive look here so we'll show you the headlights so again like i was saying so this is the redesign so now leds come standard on the autobahn trims at least um in canada where i'm from we don't have the sc trim it's just i think the base trim whatever it's called in the autobahn I do apologize as well. The car isn't clean. I had it clean in another video. My license plates were showing. I want to keep that private. I don't want that showing. So again, I'll make another video if you guys want to see. But uh, here are the beautiful LED uh, headlights and high beams, daytime running lights, signal lights as well. Have your GTI badge. I also went with um, protection. It's a 3M film. So you can kind of see now because the way the light's shining and the car's a little dirty. But usually when the car is moving, it's like the chips. It's also the hood, this whole section, also down here as well. Uh, there's some rims. The rims kind of grew on me. I definitely do like them now. Um, you got the GTI uh, on the brakes there. These are the Golf R brakes as well. The same brakes that are in the Golf R. Uh, this also comes with the different. Um, Sorry, the package here, it's got the sensors and the uh, safety features as well. Uh, here in the back, like I said, new redesigned taillights. They're LEDs now, which are nice. I'll show you those in a moment. Um, parking sensors go around, around the back here. And yeah, it's pretty much the exterior. Uh, one cool thing, if you get out of your car and you forgot to you know, close your windows and your roof and all that, you just um, put your hand on the little indent and as you see, it'll close the windows and the roof. So that's pretty cool. You don't need to worry about taking the fob out of your pocket. So yeah, let's get inside and uh, I'll show you the car as I just touched it. So I'm just gonna put your hand on the sensor to unlock the vehicle. One more lock, one more touch there will open up all uh, four doors. If you just have it on the uh, driver's side door for safety feature, safety reasons, sorry. So here's the interior. Again, this is the Audubon edition, so it's going to be the full leather seats, uh, not the Clark cloth, which I'm not a fan of anyway. So I opted to keep um, the leather with the red stitching. It's phenomenal. Just a look at the back really quick. Here it's got automatic lighting. Um, so right now it's already in the auto position. We're going to show you the LEDs, the daytime LEDs, which I really love for this car. The daytime LEDs are very nice to look at. And even in the bright sun, you can see they're uh, nice bright white LEDs. And again, when I turn the car around, I'll show you them with the, when the sun's not shining on them. So those are them right there. We're going to turn the lights on. And fog lights are on. So you see the full LED system. Again, it'll look better when the car's turned around, but I just want to show you the tail lights. So as you see, LEDs are bright even in the sunlight. They look amazing at night, very bright. Turn the hazards on here, so you can just see uh, the view of this. So I like that a lot. The um, daytimes, you know, we'll, in the daytime we'll turn orange and the uh, signal lights on. It's pretty cool. And 
those are the same as the brake lights, so LEDs as well. So obviously when you push the brakes, those will be solid. And there's also a third brake light up there as well. Okay guys, I think we got a better view here. So I'm just gonna get out and show you the lighting in this setting here, just to give you guys a feel. Obviously, it's not flashing uh, in person, just on the camera. So there's the fog lights with the LEDs. Alright, we'll show you the tail lights here. Very nice with the tail lights. Alright, and we'll put on those flashers again. guys okay so this is the interior uh, it's very nice it's a beautiful interior everything's super high quality um, this is a steering wheel it's a flat bottom steering wheel very comfortable got the GTI badging right there I love the wheel. I love how it's like a little circle. You have your adaptive cruise control settings right here. Um, so the car will follow other vehicles um, and if they slow down, it'll adjust to their speed as well. So it's pretty neat, uh, pretty nice. Uh, volume controls here. That's your signal lights. Just tap it, it'll go three times. Uh, push forward, high beams, and that'll turn on the auto high beam. Uh, this car has the automatic high beams, so it's really cool. When the high beams are on and the cameras up here sense light from another vehicle, whether it's headlights or taillights, it'll turn off. As soon as that car passes or the car in front gets out of sight, the high beams turn back on. So it's a really cool feature. Um, paddle shifters here, they feel really high quality and they're instantaneous. This is a very good dual clutch uh, system. Again, this is a DSG gearbox. So uh, paddle shifters, over here is your wiper controls, um, and this is your, to control the media, um, track skip, and all that type of stuff. Uh, phone, uh, this is the instrument cluster here. Uh, I'm a really big fan of the gauges. Uh, they're really nice. You don't get, I'm in Canada, so I have the kilometers uh, per hour. You don't have the miles per hour, you know, taking up space in there as well. Um, you can change that, obviously, in the uh, screen there. So that's pretty cool. They don't clutter that up. Um, we'll go over the features. So you use this little this little part here to just kind of scroll through, and you see it's really fast. So right now we're on driver data, I believe. So you click in there. I had it on the speedometer. You can kind of cycle through. And we'll go back. I like it on there. Uh, over, you have the assist, so that's the lane departure there. Um, so this thing's got everything, lane assist, blind spot monitoring, rear traffic alert, rear cross traffic alert, front assist, so it'll break for you if um, you're not braking in time when there's traffic stopping. It's got everything. Um, what else we got? Navigation, so when your navigation's on, you can have turn my turn directions off of this screen. Um, audio, phone information, um, vehicle status, things like that. So right now my seatbelt's off. This car does have the um, auto start-stop. Start so right now it's disengaged because the seatbelt's unbuckled, so that's a cool safety feature. That's pretty much that. Uh, this is the new screen. Um, so let's just kind of close the roof here. I didn't do anything. It looks really reflective, but it's not. It's just the way it is on camera because I'm off to an angle. But I did purchase a tempered screen protector. I don't know if you can kind of see it around here. So it really minimizes on the fingerprints. So that's not an issue for me. I got it off of Amazon for 10 bucks. So it's really, really nice to have. But um, yeah, this is the screen. It's a eight inch screen now. Very nice, it's high resolution. 
I'm on my Sirius XM. Uh, you get a bigger screen, obviously, so you get more presets now on each page, which is nice. Um, radio, you could kind of go down here to band, change everything. Channel list, you could kind of go um, like that. You could uh, go back, you could tune, which got a tune, which is nice. My last card didn't, which was a 2015 Honda Accord Coupe. So really like this system. If you want to go to say 80s on 8, you just type in 8. That's what the channel is. Hit OK, and it goes right there. Uh, it's also got a uh, tuning knob, so I really like this feature. So if you want to see what else is on different stations, um, it actually shows what song it is, uh, what the artist is. So that's really cool. So you want to hear classic vinyl, Rolling Stones, push it, it goes straight there. So that's a really nice, uh, that's a really nice feature. Uh, you have some extras and stuff. You could store tracks, artists, things like that. And then you have your settings. Um, you know, you could take songs and all that type of stuff. So it's got an integrated sensor, which is nice. So as you see the options down here in the screen, as soon as I put my finger close to it, you see everything kind of pops up there. Uh, and when my finger goes away, it'll go away and give you more usable screen real estate. So that's a really cool feature. So yeah, you have your radio controls, as I said, media right here. So when your phone's connected, you could play your, your music and you could select everything as well. Go to my music, you could go to playlists, songs, all that type of stuff. So it's, it's really cool. It's really fast. Uh, I like this system a lot. I love the colors. Uh, if you go to phone, I'm not going to go there because I have personal information, but it'll show your contacts. You could, well, we'll kind of view down here. So it'll show like... You can see text messages, um, your call log, contacts, you could dial, uh, where's my dad, but whatever. You can show all your different contacts up there. Um, you can do voice commands as well, so it'll kind of show you what you could do. Um, Pardon? Navigation, so it's a really fast system. You could use the knob to kind of zoom out. Um, these are just restaurants, banks, and all that type of stuff I have turned on for the point of interest gas stations uh, you could also zoom in as well it's a really fast system very very smooth super smooth um, so when you have a destination so say I want to go right here to this restaurant um, let's just click there and we're gonna hit start the route is being calculated It'll calculate the route, and as the I said, it automatically start. turns on to the screen here, which is really nice. I love that feature. It shows you when you're going to be there. So I would get there uh, within two minutes, 6.48 p.m. If right now it says I'm off road, but it'll kind of show you turn by turn, you know, um, navigation, which is cool. Um, you could also, again, when you put your finger there, everything pops up. I could go to view, and I could turn it into a 3D view. You could also turn on like a split screen here and it'll kind of show you the different turns where to go you could change it to you know have audio up there if you wanted to have it and you know have a compass going on right there it shows you what street you're on so it's pretty nifty then we got the dedicated apps uh, button here so if you plug in your phone which i don't know if we could do it right now let's see load car play up Okay, it does work. Perfect. So this is CarPlay on the new screen. It looks really nice. So this is the look here. You have Apple Maps, integration, music, podcasts, um, Spotify is integrated, which is pretty cool. So you could have like your library recently played, shows you album art. Um, you could go to like your playlists over here. Loading still, but there you go. So it's really fast, very smooth. So yeah, that's pretty much Apple CarPlay. Again, if I was in radio right here doing different stuff and I wanted to go back, you could just hit app now. So it's a dedicated button, which is nice. Uh, this is a car um, screen. So you have different selections. That's your sport gauges. You can also customize them um, very fast. Again, when you move your, your hand away, it'll go back to position. Um, energy consumer just kind of shows you what's consuming energy. Right now, my fog lights are on. Um, driving data. Just kind of shows you your fuel economy. You got a few different pages since refuel and all that stuff. Um, Think Blue kind of helps you drive uh, in a more economical way. Um, 
vehicle status kind of shows you if there's anything wrong with the car if you're low on fuel if there's anything with the, your tire tpms sensors or uh whatever so that's what that screen is down here is your climate control so it's got the automatic climate um so you can turn it on control the the ac or heat you could um sync everything turn max ac um it's also got the menu button here which is new so it'll show you where the air is flowing from you could also customize it from here as well by turning certain things on and it'll show you where the air is going to come from you could also change the temperature you could also go into here and set it to auto from here or change your fan profile to low high medium medium or high you could sync everything or turn it off so that's a new feature um down here is your usb where you would hook up for apple carplay so down here you have your mode selector uh turn auto start stop off if you push it's deactivated there so it won't you know stop the engine when you're at stoplights and things like that turn off traction control you have your park assist this car will parallel park for you or park in spots and you have your parking sensors uh so it pretty much covers it um if you want to see the mode selector that's eco mode there uh normal sport mode and you have custom here so custom you could basically change the car to your liking so you could change everything from the steering drive system you want to change the engine sound back to you know normal or comfort you could do that sport sounds the best um you could go to your steering again have that in sport or normal mode so you have lots of options there so that's basically it you have you could put change in here um another 12 volt you could put a card in there cup holders this will extend or yeah extend forward you could tilt it up open it up you could put it's not that big but you could put enough stuff in there uh, another 12 volt in there uh, you have a pretty big glove box cd player and stuff is in there a uh, big uh, sunroof not a panoramic roof but it's a big sunroof I like how when you have this uh, closed, it'll still let light pass through, so that's pretty nice. So when your roof is open, for example, one touch open, you can actually keep this closed, and um, you know that way that blocks the wind and stuff like that, keeps the sun off your head. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Give a little quick view of the car with the windows open here and the roof that's what it looks like with the roof vented gorgeous car Okay guys, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.